Hi, this is Steve from Law Firm Suites. If your law practice is anything like mine, you probably struggle to balance marketing time with billable time. If you'd like to make more money in your law practice than you did last year, the solution may not be as easy as just spending more time on marketing. In all likelihood, you can't spend any more time on marketing activities than you already do. For small firm attorneys, the only real solution is to take what limited marketing time you have now and make it produce better results. This will require you to choose marketing activities where you'll see the biggest return for the time that you invest. One of the best ways to determine which marketing activities will be the best and most productive for your law practice will come from taking a very close look at where exactly your current clients come from. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a simple Excel spreadsheet to quickly review this information so you can start to make these critical marketing decisions in your own law practice. Let's get started. So this is an exercise that I do in my own law practice every year. I'm going to be walking you through the exact spreadsheet that I use for my own firm. For demonstration purposes, I selected a spreadsheet from 2008. And the reason I did that is that there was a lot going on in my firm at the end of that year. And we ended up making some key marketing changes as a result of this review. So I thought it was an, a great year to talk about how to use this technique. I haven't changed anything here except to remove any of the client names. And uh, I've also blacked out some of the financial details, um, as you can see down here, towards the right-hand side of the screen. For, um, for privacy purposes. As you can see, it's not real pretty, and nor is it super complex. It's a simple four-part tab, and um, it doesn't need to be uh, complex or pretty for it to work. Um, and the nice thing about this system is that I reuse the same file every year. So at this point, um, the setup and the data entry only takes me about 30 minutes to complete. Now I recommend if you have the time, and the data to go back other years, I would build the um, build the spreadsheet for as long as you've been in business, or certainly for the last five years, and it will give you a better sense of numbers because there are some numbers that we look at from a historical basis. So here's how I set my worksheet up, very very simply. Um, in columns A and B, um, I list the client name and the year that. Um, that they've uh, retained the firm. Um, now, if a client does repeat business in any given year, I do not re-enter their name. I only enter in newly retained clients, that is clients that retained the firm in the last year, at the bottom of the list. So you can see here where I'm highlighting, um, this is the change between 2003 and 2004. And if you take a look at the, um, um, the client number one in row four, they did business with the firm in 2003, 04, 05, not in six and seven, and in 2008. So in 2008, I didn't re-enter this client's name at the bottom of the list. I just entered in their revenue number on the existing row. So every year I insert a column after the previous year to enter in the total revenue done by each client for the year that's just passed. So for 2008, um, you're talking about row or column H. And the next thing I do is I enter into column I who or what was the direct source of a client. So for example, I list the person who referred the client or the direct source, uh, for example, a website uh, or a published article. Um, of course, if you're using this spreadsheet year after year, you only have to enter in this information for, uh, for new clients. Um, I also like to keep track of what category each specific referral source falls into, and I and I do this in in column J. Um, it gives me a, a better big picture view of uh, how my marketing is performing. Now, in my firm, I use about twelve categories, and um, and like I said, I, I list those in in um, in column J, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about. Um, the types of categories that I use and how to use this information to make some decisions about marketing in the next video of this series. So 
Column K is simply a, a sum total of all the business that the client's done with the firm since they were originally retained. And in client L, for every client that did business with the firm in 2008, I listed what type of work they did with the firm. In our firm, we group all client matters into one of five categories. And what you see here is the shorthand for each one of those categories. You'll note, however, that I only enter a category if the client's done business with, firm, with the firm that year. So for example, client one did business with the firm in 2008, but client two did not. So the um, business type is listed for, column, I mean, for client number one and not client number two. So once all of your columns are set up, all you need to do is run a report of total revenue by client from your firm's billing software and enter the data into the spreadsheet. And this is something that you can probably have an assistant do for you if you have one available. Now I'm going to assume that you have some rudimentary spreadsheet skills and are able to set up basic formulas in, in Excel so you can start to take a look at some of this data. So um, here in rows 124 to 136, and I'm just uh, scrolling down there, you'll see that um, there are a bunch of items that I uh, like to do to review, um, review this data. So um, these are simple calculations that I do generally through Excel. Some of them I do manually, but most of them are just sums or simple formulas that I, I prepare through Excel. Um, of course, I like to look at uh, total revenue that the firm did for the year, and that's the um, in, in row 124. But I also like to look at total revenue produced by new clients and by old clients during any particular year, and I also look at that information as a percentage of total revenue. Now these are easy calculations to make since all of your new clients will be listed consecutively at the bottom of your spreadsheet so you could run a simple sum formula um, for the new clients and then subtract get the old clients by subtracting that from um, the total business that was done for the year. Now I also look at the count or the number of new clients that we retained um, and the count of old clients that did business um, with the firm during the last year. Now, the thing on this worksheet that I find most valuable starts on, on row 133. Here, I look at the number of clients who did repeat business with the firm from the previous year, the percentage of clients who did repeat business, and the average and median um, amount of business that those clients did. And by looking at the percentage of clients who did repeat business with the firm and the average client matter, I can predict with a reasonable degree of certainty how much revenue the firm will generate in the next year just by nurturing existing clients. I can also then figure out how many new clients that the firm will need to retain to meet our revenue goals for the coming year. And I do that by uh, knowing the average um, dollar amount that each new client brings in. Now all of a sudden I have a pretty clear indication of what my marketing channels will need to produce in the coming year to meet the revenue goals that I've set. So in the next video we're going to be looking at the next three tabs and um, I've used uh, pivot tables in these tabs to um, produce reports and to drill down on this data more to find out what marketing channels will really be most productive for um, my law firm. And uh, I uh, recommend that you check out the next video and I look forward to seeing you there. So this is a great example of the kinds of information that the lawyers who ran office space at Law Firm Suites would share with their colleagues on any given day. I'm glad that I was able to share this with you today and I hope you found it helpful. Please check out the next video in the series where we'll be going over the most important part of this exercise, how to drill down on this data to make choices about the most productive marketing activities that you should be engaging in during the next year. You can find it on Law Firm Suite's YouTube channel and I hope you check it out.